Alrighty, so Cedar Point has just made their announcement for what's new for 2020, and there is still more to come throughout the winter season. And when they say more to come, I'm assuming just minor infrastructure upgrades and minor things there. There's not going to be any new rides for 2020 other than the Paddle Wheel Excursions ride, which I'll go over in just a bit. Um, but nonetheless, I'm already seeing hate online, and truly, I'm so disappointed yet again in the roller coaster community. Here you have a theme park turning into a theme park and announcing some amazing additions with two major restaurant upgrades. Um, upgrades to their museum, upgrades to their parade. So when you see this parade, even just one screen grab of the parade, it's truly amazing. And the Snake River Falls Adventure looks absolutely amazing as well. And that's not even it. There's more to come. There's more being upgraded. And truly, if Wonderland had announced even half of this for 2020, I would have been so blown away. So again, take a step back. You're getting a coaster in 2021, most likely, almost 100% guaranteed. So calm down. Literally calm down. We all knew this wasn't going to be a roller coaster. Tony Clark had said on multiple occasions, don't get your hopes up. Don't get too excited. Um... Like, oh my god, I, I can't believe I have to make this video almost every Cedar Fair announcement now. It just gets so old. Like, I'm so sick of it. Like, literally, Cedar Point has blown me out of the water, personally, in my regards to an announcement that I was expecting. Um, I was expecting two family editions, so I am a little shocked that there were not two family editions. But maybe those family editions were the restaurants or the, you know, parade. Like... It, it it's all comes down to Cedar Point is trying to become a family destination. Families bring in the money. Families bring in the crowds. You know, when a family comes to Cedar Point, they bring four or five, six people. When a teenager comes, yeah, they may bring four or five, six people occasionally, but teenagers can also come by themselves or in groups of two or three. The families bring the money. The families spend the money. And that's who their target audience is with the gold passes, etc. Anyways, I'm here to go over what Cedar Fair or Cedar Point has announced for 2020 um in all and boy is it a lot so bayou refreshments is now going to become french quarter confessions confections sorry um where they'll serve elephant ears funnel cakes mini funnel cakes large funnel cakes waffles specialty items um and it'll be located on the cedar point midway um and as if you can't tell cedar point midway seems to be transforming slowly into an international street that's something i picked up on um, something I discussed in my uh, previous video as well. It almost looks like the uh, midway that as you enter Cedar Point and go down is slowly transforming into that old Paramount International Street that we saw, um, or I should say Taft, um, in the old Paramount parks. Um, this is definitely reminding me a lot of Canada's Wonderland's International Street, and it looks like they're doing that down the whole thing. Obviously not the entire strip this year. I have a feeling that the midway games might slowly transform as well. So this is all truly exciting alone. An amazing restaurant there as well. They'll also be serving fresh juices. Um, they'll be introducing the Mac Shack where they'll serve mac and cheese where they make it fresh inside a giant cheese block, which looks truly amazing. Um, <laughs> this is like theme park food being elevated. They'll also be serving fresh battered chicken um, strips or chicken tenders with tater tots on the Lakeside Midway where Mr. Potato was located. So this is it, it'll be called Coral. Um, it'll have two lines, hand breaded chicken, tenders um, with different sauces. Um, again, look at these restaurants, I'm so jealous. Cedar Point last year got amazing upgrades to, well, not upgrades, even just new restaurants, Hugo's and the barbecue restaurant. And now they're getting two restaurant upgrades again. I would kill for these types of investments at Canada's Wonderland. I would literally kill for these types of investments. These buildings are not only stunning, the food sounds absolutely amazing. The food I tried this year at Cedar Point was a huge improvement. I used to think Cedar Point had the worst food in the chain. And last year, sorry, this year that just passed, it had some of the best theme park food I had had outside of Universal and Disney. So I'm truly excited to see what Cedar Point's food is like even this season coming. So very excited for that. Um, They'll have 150th collection merchandise, limited edition items such as collector coins, 500 of them available only. They'll have limited edition Christmas ornaments. They're also going to start button trading. So every Tuesday, they'll release new buttons that you can trade with associates. So you got to find the associate wearing the new button and then trade them. 
Sounds awesome. I wish it was pins, not buttons. I actually found the buttons kind of looked a little tacky that they were showing on the screen during the announcement. Um, so I would I, I wish it was pins, but nonetheless, something exciting and fun. I know a lot of people in the Paramount Parks have been asking for pin trading and button trading. So it looks like Cedar Fair is listening. So another, again, truly exciting announcement. These may not be roller coasters or rides, but at least they're listening to their audience and adding in things that you guys have been asking for. I can definitely confirm, even at Canada's Wonderland, people are asking for buttons. The Town Hall Museum is being reinvented into the Town Hall. The new name is obviously the Town Hall. It's going to become more of a hangout, more than a museum that it has been, um, to honor their past, present, and interestingly enough, their future, whatever that turns out to be. It seemed like a little bit of a teaser. Who knows? Maybe they'll just drop little tiny teasers again, I've lost a lot of trust in Cedar Fair with their teasers, and I've been directly told that when teasers come out for Cedar Fair coasters to take things with a grain of salt, they're there to mislead the roller coaster enthusiast while leading the GP in a somewhat right direction. Um, they'll also be introducing the Courtesy Corpse, which used to be at Cedar Point back in the days. It's almost like guest services out in the park with modified uniforms. Um, and uh, something else will happen there that they hinted at as well. So we don't know what that is. Um, they've introduced the Legacy Walk where you can buy a brick that's etched with your name that will be placed in the Midway. Um, they'll be having two tours, one self-guided tour on your smartphone, and it'll explain what happened in the current location that you're at and as you adventure around the park and what that area of the park used to look like on your phone. There will also still be VIB tours and the Sunset Tours and the Segway Tours with some enhanced history to them um there'll be live entertainment so to celebrate the 150 um it'll be called celebrate 150 spectacular a midway experience with a parade the parade will stop and involve guests to dance um, and other interactions along the way um, it will evolve at night it's a massive parade the parade will represent different moments in cedar points history as you can even tell on the screen it truly looks impressive. Honestly, look at it. Though they will have actual live actors um, biking and rollerblading, or sorry, I should just say rollerblading, on that roller coaster um, float there that you see. So absolutely insane. It will run from June 12th to August 16th. Um, and this is something that I actually would probably make the trip from Canada or Toronto down to Ohio to check out. So I would definitely be planning my trip during this parade time because I would love to see it. So it does evolve from day to night by the sounds of it. They will also have bands and residence programs, so local talent where you can submit your information and they will select people at different venues to play around the park. Um, so the Palace Theater will have a special, special tribute show with different parts of the park being showcased in the show. Um, whether it's accurate or not, it kind of seemed like it was going to be a, a play on what the past was. Um, and Forbidden Frontier will get a new um, refreshment. So it'll have a different kind of storyline, I believe, um, throughout Forbidden Frontier. So that is something that some people have been questioning. So that has been confirmed. Um, and um, they will also be giving away a ticket of a lifetime. So you have the opportunity to win for your lifetime um, a ticket of a lifetime. So you can win 150 of them will be given away. Um, beginning in February, you can enter to win online or in the park. Each winner can select three family members or friends to win as well. Um, so river adventure for the whole family. So paddle wheel excursions, which used to exist at Cedar Point way back in the day, um, will now be called Snake River Expedition Travels Along the Snake River. So they changed the name of the lagoon and the paddle wheel excursions to Snake River Expedition. And the lagoon is now called Snake River. Um, they will feature cool new boats built for Cedar Point mixed with new and history um, along with it. So as you can see, the boat's right there on the screen with the new sign. Um, everyone can ride this. Babies, strollers, grandpa, grandma, anyone. Um, it will feature animatronics and live actor talent. It will have a storyline and be very interactive. And the story and interaction begins before you even board the boat. Um, so as you are queuing, you will have story and interaction and there will be smugglers and it looks truly exciting. There will be surprises as the ride begins as well. So um, a lot going on. There were some teasers for Winterfest 2021. Possibly they kind of like laughed and uh, 
all kind of like <gasps> when Winterfest was asked in the question period on YouTube. Again, a lot of people are speculating 2021 for Winterfest. So we'll see what happens there. They might be waiting to see how Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland um, does. And then the obviously the upgrades to the entrance and exit to the park, as they talked about, there will be lots of upgrades to infrastructure and the guest experience for the 2020 season. So maybe they're waiting to see how those go before they announce Winterfest. Um, at Cedar Point. Nonetheless, again, truly exciting announcement. So for $99, you can get your gold pass to Cedar Point. You have all these amazing additions for 2020. Yes, they're not and a thrilling flat ride. Yes, they're not a 500 foot tall T-Rex roller coaster, but you cannot add those things every year to a theme park. Calm down. These are amazing additions that will draw in more guests and give more guests other options options to do other than roller coasters so cedar point seems to be diversifying itself to draw in better crowds which is smarter it means more investments down the road so calm down it's not a roller coaster it's a family edition and truly i would die for any of these editions at canada's wonderland they look amazing so huge congratulations to cedar point on your 2020 announcement it looks absolutely amazing and a huge congratulations to everyone who attends cedar point your park is truly transforming into what i've been calling um, or what seems to me is it almost looks like a Knott's Berry Farm Disneyland transformation that Cedar Point seems to be going under. Um, so I've been noticing it. Comment down below. Have you been noticing that Cedar Point's been transforming into a Knott's Berry Farm slash Disneyland environment? Um, and comment down below what you think of the announcements. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.